Okay, I'm trying to um, put on this SSD right here. So this particular server um, already have capacity for four drives in the front and they're hot swap. And so those are perfect for having a um, RAID zero plus one. They're on even numbers. So I don't want to waste any of those space for an SSD but I want this server to boot from an SSD drive for the operating system. And uh, in order to do that, <clears throat> I need to create my own power. And I'm going to be using a USB similar to this one right here. This is a USB that goes to the front right here. Uh, it goes to the front of the case. So this is a USB adapter. And this is another connector here for the USB that I would like to use uh, for um, basically for power itself so the USB is just going to be powering it and uh, I will also connect <coughs> my um, hang on a second I turn on the light so uh, I'm also going to be using the uh, the free SATA ports right here and just having a regular SATA cable that will go out and then connect to the uh, SATA, uh, SATA adapter here. So basically I'm creating my own SATA and I'm just going to probably maybe double sticky tape the SSD right here. I know it's not gonna be hot swappable, but considering uh, how reliable SSDs are, um, I'm actually quite comfortable with that. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna be having a lot of problem or ever at all in regards to the SSD. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to uh, describe how I'm going to create this um, power source from this uh, USB connector. <clears throat> so over here, I have tons of cables um, from, I guess, old cases, etc. And uh, all of these have USB um, cable here, basically USB, um, I guess this is a 10 pin or 9 pin, I think they, they call it the 9 pin adapter. Um, so I'm going to be repurposing these and uh, turning it into <clears throat> one of these basically. So at the end, we are going to end up with a power adapter like this. So I'm going to be combining basically uh, this type of cable. Uh, so <clears throat> it's going to be kind of like this, 9 pin on this side and a power adapter on this side. That's what I'm trying to do. And uh, I'm going to be creating that custom cable so that I can power my SSD uh, right there. Okay, so this is the plan. Uh, this side right here is going to be connected to the motherboard of the server. And we're going to splice the USB cable we're going to take um, the negative and the positive out of the USB. Uh, by the way, there's two USB connector um, that is inside this connector itself. And we only need one. So I'm just going to take the positive and the negative from one of them. Um, and I'm gonna show that to you later, how that's done. And we're going to connect that to the black, so to these two right here. So the yellow um, is 12 volt and black is just ground or negative and the red is actually 5 volt. The power that we need is actually just the 5 volt and one of the negative here. So we're gonna leave this two cable alone. And uh, on the other side, we're not gonna do anything. This is just gonna come straight through uh, and connect to the drive. And uh, hopefully this is gonna be long enough. So I'm gonna have, I don't know, about, um, I think it's gonna be long enough. I would say about 18 inches worth of cable. And uh, we're gonna solder it to make sure it's good and wrap it with um, either heat shrink wrap or just probably just a uh, electrical tape. Before we begin, I will explain the uh, orientation or the pin layout 
on the USB, um, I guess, 9 pin connector here. So there is a one empty pin here on the bottom left if you're just plugging it in like that. And that one empty pin there is your indicator of, I guess, the orientation. Um, so if you have it like this, just like I'm holding it right now, these two right here are, I think they're the negative, let me check. Yeah, these two on the left are the negative and this pin right here, let me see if I can point it out to you using some kind of pointer. This pin right here, right there, that's the positive. So this black cable here is going to be positive and this white cable here is also the positive five volt. So again, yellow cable here, negative, blue cable here, negative, and the white is positive five volt. And this black cable here is negative, I'm sorry, positive five volt also. So actually to make things simple, the cable that I'm gonna be interested to tap into is going to be this yellow cable here and this white cable here. So this is negative and this is positive five volt right here. The white cable is positive five volt. And so I'm going to splice it somewhere here and find that uh, yellow and, and white cable and I'm going to connect it to uh, this cable here. Okay, so I got the um, this side of the wire cut and spliced it and I got the yellow and the white. Again, as a reminder, the white is the positive 5 volt, the yellow is the negative. Um, so before we go ahead and solder this, I'm going to give it a test to make sure that I'm actually right. So I'm going to use a multimeter and I'm going to plug it into the server and confirm that it is indeed um, 5 volt USB coming out of these two uh, cables here. Okay, I actually um, was wrong. Um, I got the positive and the negative actually backward, uh, which was not good. Good thing uh, I actually tested this on the motherboard. So I went ahead and plugged this in to the motherboard, turn on the server, and uh, I took a voltage meter or multimeter. I actually measured it and um, it was showing negative um, five volt or negative 4.97 or whatever. So I knew that it was backward. So this is the right um, um, marking or the right voltage. So the yellow is actually the positive five volt and the white is the negative. So the, the pin that is most to the left and um, it's showing actually um, as a black color on the other cable, uh, on, on the one that is existing on the, um, on the Dell server. And over here, it actually kind of, I'm not sure if it makes sense. Over here again, the, uh, this side right here is actually black color uh, where the white is. <clears throat> so I guess, yeah, I don't know what's going on. So it's best for you to did what I uh, just done. It just plug it in and take a multimeter and just make sure that it's correct. So for me, at this orientation right here, just like that, um, positive is on the left side and negative is on the right. So what I said previously is actually backward. Okay, so now I'm going to splice the, uh, the other side of the cable um, where I'm going to be connecting the black here. These are the grounds. I'm going to be connecting that to the white, which is negative ground. And I'm going to be connecting the red cable to the yellow cable because that's the positive five volt. And that will, or they sh that should power on this particular uh, SATA power connector here. The reason um, I'm taking both of the uh, ground here is because I don't know which one actually powers the uh, SATA connector. Um, so I'm just being safe. Um, since I'm not going to be using the other one, might as well just take them both, connect them both. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the completed cable. Um, there's nothing change on this side. So we spliced it right here, connect the uh, positive and negative, and I have wrapped it all in uh, electrical tape. You can also use heat shrink uh, tubes if you like. Um, and uh, so the only ca three cable that is connected are the negative and positive five volt. Uh, I have cut the yellow, which is the positive 12 volt, uh, supposedly not needed for this particular purpose, just powering up an SSD. And this side is ready to go. So actually the yellow cable here has no purpose, but I'm just gonna keep it on. And uh, that's it. So let's give it a test. Okay, I just want to show you guys that um, the setup is working. I plugged in the uh, cable. This is our cable that we custom made. I plugged it in here. And <clears throat> I haven't tugged in the cable yet. Obviously, I'm going to be tucking it in into this uh, slot here. Uh, but I got the serial ATA data cable here plugged in. And I have the power here. Um, and... I'm using a 32 gig Samsung to test with just in case I don't want to use uh, I was I have a one terabyte there I, I don't want to use that one to test just in case I fry it so <clears throat> just want to make sure it works first and it is working properly uh, let me show you on the screen there you see that it detected it at SATA port 4 which is correct and uh, that's Samsung SSD 32 gigabyte exactly um, so everything is working great and um, yeah just want to explain how I create this uh, cable out of a USB port to power a um, I guess standalone SSD drive that I'm just going to probably velcro or double stick tape somewhere in there thank you for watching I uh, hope you find this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up so other people can discover it and uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, for more do it yourself useful tips like this uh, so that you can get notified in the future much appreciated and have a good day thanks thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you